Hi everyone, it's Sharon here from Organic Seed Sharing and I thought I'd show you an updated photograph of the soap nut tree that I've grown from seed. A lot of people use a hammer or sandpaper to try and uh, get, the, uh, get to the seed so it germinates but what I did was I soaked the seed in water like you do when you're actually trying to sprout seeds so um, yeah I just soaked the seed in water for about 8 to 12 hours then I just kept rinsing the seed three times a day and let it drain and it eventually sprouted so it's eventually uh, you know germinated so I was really quite happy about that and I potted it up in a small pot I've changed the pots a few times it's now in a bigger pot grown um, it didn't like this windowsill that much because the leaves started to fade a bit so I tried to put it in the shady area and it didn't like that either. So now I'm trying a different spot in the garden to see how it likes that. Um, I probably have to bring it in for um, winter because um, they're grown you know, in quite warm climates. So um, yeah, I'll see how it goes and I'll keep you updated on it. Some people have left me some lovely messages on YouTube asking me to send you know do an update and uh, let them know how it's going so I'm actually in the UK guys I'm in Wales which is very wet um, but it's good for the garden <laughs> so I hope to do a video of the garden um, soon to show you around my organic garden or our family organic garden I hate pesticides I love nature and I just love wildlife and growing naturally and using all the wild plants that they call weeds in this country they're not weeds they're the lovely herbal remedies a lot of them and um, I look forward to sort of showing you some of my wild herbal um, plants that I use in uh, smoothies and uh, yeah I forage every morning actually for my smoothie out in the garden and I just love the wild plants that just grow naturally and you don't even have to sort of plant them it's wonderful isn't it nature's so great so yeah I'm gonna hopefully keep adding some videos I did lose my account details so sorry I haven't added anything recently I'm actually working on a project um, with my daughter my daughter's an artist and singer and we hope to um, do a raffle with um, uh, like a, she, a painting of hers like a commission if you know what I mean so she could um, you could you know the winner could commission her to paint anything they want as long as it's child and family friendly and then um, we hope to raise the money to pay for her A-level art course which is coming up this September and build a eco-friendly art studio down the back garden so yeah we hope to have a green roof a green plant roof on the hobbit style art studio with um uh, probably invasive plants on top just so we can sort of create and generate some green electricity which i've been researching for a while and also a composting toilet, water harvesting. She's going to have a little garden area for organic growing. Um, yeah, and just um, what I want to do, what the aim is, is to show people around the garden and just, you know, say to them, look, you don't need pesticides to have a beautiful garden. That's the dream. I really want to get people away from using pesticides because they're so bad for your lungs. And in this pandemic, it's the last thing you want in your garden, near your children, your pets and yourself. You just need to try and stay as healthy as possible. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the big dream. So I'm just sharing some paintings uh, Melody Angel did recently of little hobbit houses and they're just adorable. So um, she's also been commissioned to do dog paintings as well. So yeah, so watch this space. I hope to do an update on this and show you around the garden and show you where we want to build the Hobbit house and, you know, if we can get the publicity, maybe in a magazine or something, maybe we'll get the support to raise the money with a raffle and get enough people to buy the raffle tickets so that we can do it. So um, yeah, I'm really quite excited about this project, especially with creating green electricity with plants. I've got, uh, I've, I've met this... Um, young student 
from India online and he's very very keen to to create literacy reply. I've actually cured my own health. I had asthma for well over 40 plus years. I'm now asthma free. I've got no more phlegm on my lungs, etc. It's all thanks to wonderful organic natural plants. So if you've done the same, I'd love to hear your story. Or if you're just growing organically, you don't like pesticides, um, you know, pop by, share your photographs, your garden photographs, your stories, any tips you've got, I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, come along on Facebook, it's called the Organic Gardening Foraging Club, and uh, hope to connect with you soon. Take care and uh, look forward to hearing all your stories. Bye-bye.